Amalek did not let the tradition get in the way of how God wanted him as a priest, right? The first duty, right? To care for his people. Mark 12, 31, it says, and the second commandment, right? The second, like it, is this. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than this. That means it doesn't matter how many laws you keep. If you're keeping them and you're not doing it out of love, guess what? It is all in vain. My God. So Amalek might have broke the custom, right? Moses' law, but he did not break God's word. Jesus honored him in Matthew 12, what we read, for what he did. So we know, we've come to know even more how human traditions, right, are never more important than God's words itself. It's about the relationship. We can read the word all day long and we can tell people what to do. and We can tell people what not to do. But if you're not following it, if it's not a part of your life, then what you're doing is in vain. If we're not asking God to lead us in this word of God, then it's in vain. It's no point. Yeah, the Bible has power. But our connection is what brings that power to life, right? It's a spirit that is a part of every word of the Bible that we can understand. If we have anxiety and stuff going on, anger and frustration, and we're, we're sinning knowing that we are and having fun with it, when we're in that state of mental warfare, right? That's not life. That's not life. That's not the life that God wants us to live in. That's not that abundant life and that peace that surpasses all understanding. No, we will be blind and we'll be confused. We'll be led in fear. We won't even know what the next decision is because we're held up in this trap, this mental warfare trap where we can we don't even know yesterday from tomorrow, tomorrow from yesterday. David was dealing with this anxiety. He was hungry. And he ain't even trust anybody all at the same time. Young man and still ignorant. This was his road. 